Ezekiel 46 to 48. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. The gate of the inner court that looks towards the east shall be shut the six working days, but on the Shabbat day it shall be opened, and on the day of Rosh Kodesh it shall be opened. The prince shall enter by the way of the porch of the gate outside, and shall stand by the post of the gate, and the Kohenim shall prepare his burnt offerings and his peace offerings, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go out, but the gate shall not be shut until the evening. The people of the land shall worship at the door of the gate before Yahweh on the Shabbats and on Rosh Kodesh. The burnt offerings that the, that the prince shall offer to Yahweh shall be on the Shabbat day six lambs without blemish, and a ram without blemish, and the grain offerings shall be of an ephoth for the ram, and the grain offerings for the lambs, as he is able to give, and a hen of oil to an ephah. On the day of Rosh Kodesh, it shall be a young bull without blemish, six lambs, and a ram, they shall be without blemish. He shall prepare a grain offering, an ephah for the bull, and an ephah for the ram, and for the lambs according as he is able, and a hen of oil to an ephah. When the prince enters, he shall go in by the way of the porch of the gate, and he shall go out by its way. But when the people of the land come before Yahweh in the appointed feasts, he who enters by the way of the north gate shall worship north gate to worship shall go out by the way of the south gate, and he who enters in by the way of the south gate shall go out by the way of the north gate. He shall not return by the way of the gate by which he came in, but shall go out straight before him. The prince shall go in with him when they go in, and when they go out, he shall go out. On the feasts and on the appointed times the grain offering shall be an ephah for a bull, and an ephah for a ram, and for the lambs he shall he is able to give him, and for the lambs as he is able to give, and a hen of oil to an ephah. Now when the prince prepares a free will offering, a burnt offering, or a peace offering, as a free will offering to Yahweh, one shall open for, for him the gate that looks towards the east, and he shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings, as he does on the Shabbat day. Then he shall go out, and after his going out shall shut the gate. You shall prepare a lamb a year old without blemish for a burnt offering to Yahweh daily, morning by morning. You shall prepare it, and you shall prepare a grain offering with it morning by morning, the sixth part of an ephah, and the third part a hen of oil, to moisten the fine flour, a grain offering to Yahweh per continually by per perpetual ordinance. Thus they shall prepare the lamb, the grain offering, and the oil, morning by morning, for a continual burnt offering. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. If the prince gives a gift to any of his sons, it is his inheritance. It shall belong to his sons. It is their possession by an inheritance. But if he gives of his inheritance a gift to one of his servants, it shall be to the year of liberty. Then it shall return to the prince. But as for his inheritance... It shall be for his sons. The prince shall not take of the people's inheritance to thrust them out of their possession. He shall give inheritance to his sons out of his own possession, that my people not each be scattered from his possession. Then he brought me through through the entry, which was at the side of the gate, into the holy rooms for the Kohenim, which looked toward the north. And behold, there was a place on the back part of the westward, he said to me, This is the place where the Kohenim shall boil the trespass offering and the sin offering, and where they shall take the grain offering, that they may not bring out into the outer court to, sanct to sanctify the people. Then he brought me into the outer court, and caused me to pass by the four corners of the court, and behold, in every corner of the court was a court. In the four corners of the court there were courts enclosed, forty cubits long and thirty wide. These four in the corners were the same size. There was a wall all around them, around the, flower, around the four, and boiling places were made under the walls all around. Then he said to me, These are the boiling houses where the ministers of the house shall boil the sacrifice of the people. 
He brought me back to the door of the house, and behold, waters flowed out from under the threshold of the house eastward, from the front of the house faced toward the east. The waters came down from underneath, from the right side of the house, on the south of the altar, when he brought me out by the way of the north gate, and led me around the way outside the outer gate, by the way of the gate that looks toward the east, and behold, waters ran out on the right side. When the man went eastward with the line in his hand, he measured 1,000 cubits and caused me to pass through the waters, waters that were to the ankles. Again, he measured 1,000 and caused me to pass through the waters, waters that were to, to the knees. Again, again, he measured 1,000 and caused me to pass through the waters were to the waist. Afterward, he measured 1,000 and it was a river that I could not pass through. For the water had risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be walked through. He said to me, Son of man, have you seen? Then he brought me and caused me to return to the bank of the river. Now when I returned, behold, on the bank of the river were very many trees on the one side and on the other. Then he said to me, These waters flow out toward the eastern region and will go down into Araba. Then they will go toward the sea and flow into the sea, which will be made to flow out. And the waters will be healed. It will happen that every living creature which swarms in every place where the rivers come will live. Then there will be a very great multitude of fish, for these waters have come there, and the waters of the sea will be healed, and everything will live wherever the, water com wherever the river comes. It will happen that fishermen will stand by from En Gedi even to En Iglam will be a place for the spreading of nets. Their fish will be after their kind, as the fish of the great sea, exceedingly many. But the miry places of it and its marshes will not be healed. They will be given up to the salt and by the river of its banks, on the side and on that side, will grow every tree for food whose leaf will not be withered, neither will its fruit fail. It will bear new fruit every month, because its waters issue out of the sanctuary. Its fruit will be for food, and its leaf for healing. This is what Adonai Yahweh says, This shall be the border, by which you shall divide the land for inheritance according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph shall have two portions. You shall inherit it, one as well as another. For I swore to give... Give it to your fathers, and this land will fall to, for, fall to you for inheritance. This shall be the border of the land. On the north side, from the great sea, by the way of Hethlon, to the entrance of Zedad, Hamath, Berotha, Sibron, which is between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath, Hizer, Hatakon, which is the border of Huron, the border from the sea, shall be Hezar, Enon, at the border of Damascus, and on the north northward is the border of Hamath. This is the north side. The east side, between Haran and Damascus and Gilead, is, and Eretz Yisrael, shall be the Jordan. From the north border to the east sea you shall measure. This is the east side. The south side southward shall be from Tamar, as far as the water of Moraboth, Kadesh, to the brook, to the great sea, this is the south side southward. The west side shall be the great sea from the south border as far as the opposite of the entrance of Hamath. This is the west side. So you shall divide this land to yourselves according to the tribes of Israel. It will happen that you shall divide it by lot for an inheritance to you and to the strangers who dwell among you, who, with father ch who will father children among you. Then they shall be to you as the native born among the sons of Israel." They shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. It shall happen that in whatever tribe the stranger lives, there you shall give him his inheritance, says Adonai Yahweh. Now these are the names of the tribes from the north end, beside the way of Hethlon, to the entrance of Hamath, Hezar Enon, at the border of Damascus, northward beside Hamath, and they shall have their sides east and west, Dan, one portion. By the border of Dan, from the east side to the west side, Asher, one portion. By the border of Asher, from the east side to the west side, Naphtali, one portion. 
by the border of Nephtili, from the east side to the west side, Manasseh, one portion, by the border of Manasseh, from the east side to the west side, Ephraim, one portion, by the border of Ephraim, from the east side even to the west side, Reuben, one portion, by the border of Reuben, from the east side to the west side, Judah, one portion, by the border of Judah, from the east side to the west side, shall be the offering which you shall offer 25,000 reeds in width and length in one, one of the portions from the east side to the west side, and the sanctuary shall be in the middle of it. The offering that you shall offer to Yahweh shall be 25,000 reeds in length and 10,000 in width. For these, even for the Kohenim, shall be the holy offering. Toward the north, 25,000 in length, and toward the west, 10,000 in width. And toward the east, 10,000 in width, and toward the south, 25,000 in length. And the sanctuary of Yahweh shall be in the middle of it. It shall be for the Kohenim, who are sanctified, and the sons of Zodak, who have kept my instructions, who not, do not go astray when the sons of Israel went astray, as the Levites went astray. It shall be to them an offering for the offering of the land, the most holy thing, by the borders of the Levites." Answerable to the border of the Kohenim, the Levites, shall have 25,000 in length and 10,000 in width. All the length shall be 25,000 and the width 10,000. They shall sell none of it, nor exchange it, nor shall the first fruits of the land be all alienated, for it is holy to Yahweh. The 5,000 that are left in the width in front of the 25,000 shall be for common use, for the city, for dwelling, and for pasture lands, and the city shall be in the middle of it. These shall, be its these shall be its measurements, the north side 4,500, the south side 4,500, the east side 4,500, and the west side 4,500. The city shall have pasture lands, toward the north 250, toward the south 250, to the east 250, and to the west 250. The residue of the length alongside the holy offering shall be 10,000 eastward, 10,000 westward, and it shall be alongside the holy offering. Its produce shall be for food and to those who labor in the city. Those who labor in the city out of all the tribes of Israel shall, be, shall cultivate it. All the offerings shall be a square of 25,000 by 25,000. You shall offer it as holy offering with the possession of the city. And the remainder shall be for the prince on the one side and the other for the holy offerings and for the possession of the city in front of the 25,000 of the offering toward the east border and westward in front of the 25,000 toward the west border alongside the portions. It shall be for the prince. The holy offering and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the middle of it. Moreover, from the possession of the Levites and for the possession of the city being in the middle, that which is the prince's between the border of Judah and between the border of Benjamin shall be for the prince. As for the rest of the tribes, from the east side to the west, Benjamin, one portion, by the border of Benjamin, from the east side to the west, Simeon, one portion, by the border of Simeon, from the east side to the west, Isaacar, one portion, and by, by the border of Isaacar, from the east side to the west side, Zebulun, one portion, by the border of Zebulun, from the east side to the west side, Gad, one portion, by the border of Gad, at the south side, southward, the border shall be from Tamar to the waters of the Mirabath Kadesh, to the brook, to the great sea. This is the land which you shall divide by lot to the tribes of Israel for an inheritance. And these are their several portions, says Adonai Yahweh. These are the exits of the cities on the north side, 4,500 reeds by measure, and the gates of the city shall be named after the tribes of Israel. Three gates northward, the gate of Rubian, one, the gate of Judah, one, the, great, the gate of Levi, one. On the east side, 4,500 reeds and three gates, the gate of Joseph, one, the gate of Benjamin, one, and the gate of Dan, one. At the, side south, at the south side, 4,500 reeds by measure and three gates, the gate of Simeon, one, the gate of Isaacar, one, the gate of Zubilion, one. At the west side, 4,500 reeds with their three gates, the gates of Gad, one, the gates of Asher, one, the gate of Nephtili, one. It shall be 18,000 reeds around, and the name of the city from that day shall be Yahweh. Shall, shall be Yahweh is there.